talk about three foods that I really try to avoid at all costs. And sometimes it's not so easy. You know, I, I think about this all the time, the way I ate when I was a child, uh, all the way through my late teens, uh, early twenties until now. And I ate way differently. Um, and you know, for instance, I ate a lot of sugar. I, I ate a lot of donuts, a lot of things that there's no way I could eat now, but a lot of people did. And it didn't seem to me like we had the obesity problem or the, the weight problem that we have now today, you know, and I grew up in the seventies. So, um, these are some foods that I don't eat. I, I try to avoid them, but it can be tough. First one, seed oils, vegetable oils. They're bad um, and uh, I don't eat them. Now, when I was a kid, we had those, but what, what's the deal? I think that a lot of these foods are sprayed with uh, different things that help preserve the plants or whatever is being sprayed and I th that, you know, kill bugs and so on. But that's probably not good to go on what we're eating. And so I think that's one of the biggest problems. I'm not going to name names, but you guys know that uh, the growers out there are spraying uh, their crops with things that aren't healthy for us. So um, I think that affects all of our food and it's, that's why it's really, really hard to get food that is really clean. I try to eat organic and I try to verify um, that the food is organic. That's really important to me and to my wife. So uh, the next thing, uh, sugar, I don't, eat sugar. I just don't eat it. Um, but when I was a kid, I ate a lot of sugar. What's the difference? Well, first of all, I ate a lot more carbs when I was a kid. I needed them. Now I, you know, you eat too many carbs at my age and who knows, you could be a diabetic in a week if you, if you did that. Everyone's different. So I avoid sugar in things like cake and pie and cookies and things like that. The, the third thing that I avoid is processed foods. Again, this one's kind of hard. And, you know, I went to give blood a few days ago and they have all these processed foods um, in bags, you know, chips and Cheetos and packaged cookies I mean, it wasn't even a homemade cookie where at least you can use different healthier flours and things like that. And you, you probably can get some sugar that's not uh, sprayed with something, you know, the plants are not sprayed with something that is going to kill the bugs and not be healthy for you. But the processed foods, um, you got the seed oils in there. Um, You've got bad fats in there, all kinds, and they and they play with the 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 labels. You know, they break they'll break the to say that okay, there's no trans fats. Well, there is, but it's less than a half a gram, and so they just multiply the serving sizes until the serving is less than a half a gram or whatever the requirement is for trans fat when they're really in there. Um, <laughs> the best way to avoid lies on labels is don't eat any, don't eat anything with a label. <laughs> so uh, that's the third thing, processed foods. Um, and then there's the ultra processed foods, which are even worse. So um, I try to avoid those. I do eat some things that are maybe processed a little bit. Some things have to be processed just to, get them to your table. But those are the three things. Seed oils slash vegetable oils, try to avoid them. Sugar, try to avoid that. And 
Um, the third is the processed foods. So if you guys like uh, tips on nutrition for older people like me, uh, people who are trying to stay healthy, subscribe to the channel and um, hit the, uh, the bell to get notified when we put up new videos. We interview doctors, nutritionists, and personal trainers. I'm a health club owner. I own multiple health clubs. And uh, so I have access to the facilities and to the trainers and so on. So uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, I will talk to you next time. Thank you.